everybody, it's Doug here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my continued playthrough of Trudvang Legends, where we are legending through the world and uh, doing some cool stuff. Uh, so far, we have encountered the major villain. Um, if you haven't seen it, please go back and watch the previous episodes, but do remember this is full of spoilers. I am spoiling the entire adventure series that you're watching, so you will see um, everything there is to see until I get to a point where I, I'm going to stop. Uh, but right now, we are uh, working our way toward trying to help, I think her name is Hilda, the daughter of a chieftain who is sick and she's at the riverbed. Now, our one character had uh, done that. We had gone different ways. We found the son of the chieftain and that's all well but well and good. But now we got to help the daughter as well. And to do that, we need to get down to uh, the ancient forest where there's legends of a, a bird that can give us the egg there. And there's some enemies there. So we want to get down there and uh, deal with those enemies. Now, to do that, we're going to have to travel, and that's the, the phase we're on right now. So I'm not going to waste a lot of time talking about what we've done. You can go back and watch that. Um, I did a little bit of recap for you, so you know what we're trying to do. We're going to go get this egg that will help in the rejuvenation uh, potion or something for this, uh, this ailing chieftain's daughter. And so in the travel phase, we have a little bit of a problem. So um, LaDonna here has one of these new beasts that we haven't encountered yet or fought yet called a Garm. Now you can leave a space during your travel phase with an enemy in it, but you're going to take, it says uh, you're, for e every enemy you're going to take a health. We're actually going to do that. I don't want to stay there with that enemy or fight it by myself. So LaDonna is going to take a hit that's going to put her down to five health. And during the travel phase, she's going to move to the city of Ildabad as will Mailing the ranger. They're both going to go there and meet up because they're next going to move on to here. Now, um, we're going to go then from our travel phase to our engage phase. During the engage phase, we're going to pull and pull an event. Now, we're there together, so we're just going to pull one event. It says Dark Chasm. Seems to be the only way forward. Each hero in the party must pass an Agility 2 test. If we do, we cross it. If we don't, we gain bad things. Okay, well, this is... Um, this is going to be uh, LaDonna's bag here. Let's uh, shuffle them up. We've got to draw seven. One, two, three, four. We're not going to do this, are we? Five. I never make these tests. I don't think I've made one yet. Six and seven. So she got one of two that she needed, so she failed. But we only need one hero. It says, oh, each hero that succeeds. Okay. So she failed. So what does that mean? She is going to get one of these red health tokens. We'll put that on her board. That kind of bites. And now we're going to go with uh, our guy mailing the ranger. Let's see if he can succeed. We're going to draw seven tokens. One, two, three, four, five, six. We might, we, we actually have a chance to do it. Let's see. So, hey, he actually succeeded. So he did not take the damage that she did. That's the first test I think that's, I've passed, and I, I believe. And so that ends uh, this event event right here. And now we're in the city there of Ildabad. Now, while we're there, we get to do a refresh. And I never remember because we don't do them enough, so i got to remember what exactly a refresh does. Let's get the rule book out and see. A refresh allows us to do things, right? You can imagine. It says, uh, flip the hero card to the unexhausted side. We, can, we are both, yeah, we are both exhausted, so... No, uh, LaDonna's exhausted, mailing is not. So we've done that, we've refreshed, and then we can, it says, uh, refresh two. Oh, then two Chronicle points to gain um, a wind token. Do I want to do that? Neither of us have enough Chronicle points. What I really want are the fire ones in the bag. The wind ones are okay. We could use some more fire ones. And that, that's going to end our explore phase then, because I'm not going to do this. Uh, though, I mean, it might be helpful, but we're, we only have, only uh, LaDonna could do it. She could get one in her bag if she wanted to. You know, as I look at her feats, she does have an awful lot of them with the wind symbol on it. So let's do that. She's going to go down to zero chronicle points, but she'll get to take one of these tokens. She's getting some kind of rune, a runic item from the, the people there, and she's going to put that in her bag, so she now has that rune. Okay, that's the now the end of the explore phase. We're going to go to the world phase, um, and it says as long as there's a token here, we're going to put one of these tokens on this world card over here. It says Trouble in Wildlands. And until we clear that C space off there, it means we come back with our, our item to help the girl, or we're going to keep doing that. And if we get two more, we're going to end up spawning another Garm in the Dark Woods and Eastern Dark Woods. 
But what we're going to do this time is we're going to travel. We're going to go right to there and we're going to engage those. Uh, so in our travel phase, we move there together. Then we're going to engage those force trolls. We're going to get them out. They're right here. Let me uh, draw the cards. That uh, this is going to, These are going to be the cards for LaDonna. She's going to have Lindwood's Blood. Uh, healing Flood, that's good because Mei Ling is injured. Uh, Soul Shatter, two, by the way, that's even better. Another Healing Flood. So we got our Healing Flood, two, and our Soul Shatter, two. That's pretty darn good. Now, um, Mei Ling had his whole deck used because he was in one more fight. That's why he's hurt. He's down to three health. We've got to get him some of that Healing Flood magic. You know, if she can do her Healing Flood, two, she'll recover two for him. That's pretty good. All right, we have, I think, shuffled these enough. Do one more cut. Let's see what, what he gets. One. Uh, tracking. Eh. Quick shot. That's fantastic. That means we can kill one before it does anything. Dodge. And focus. So this is good. This is actually good. We'll put that there. Um, and we'll continue on. Now, let's. Uh, while we're here, we'll just draw his tokens out. Now, these forest trolls only take a three to kill. So that is not too bad for us. Let's see what we get here. Um... One, two, that's a good start. Three. All right, well, that's not wonderful. That goes here. We'll do focus, and obviously that's got to go in the dodge. So we'll do that and that. Okay, that's uh, one. Doing one thing there. Now let's see, we're going to draw three more, see what we can get. One, two, and whoop. Three. Okay, so that goes there. We don't have another place for that token, so that goes there, and ugh, we've got to keep drawing, y'all. We, we have to. We're probably not going to get the good thing. Hopefully, we don't get a bad thing. Let's see. Okay. One, two. Oh, wow. That was interesting. Um, all right. We're going to get that. That's awesome. We still don't have our quick shot. That. And we'll go there. we got focus and tracking and dodge. But we haven't killed one yet. Do I, do I risk it with three more? All right, let's, wow, uh, that's not great for us. Uh, we're going to take the bad thing. No, we could put a fire there and a fire there. So we're just going to take no bonus right here. That's okay. We, but we triggered everything. That's pretty amazing. All right, and then we've got to go do the same thing for um, LaDonna. All right, good draws so far for Mailing. He didn't get the, the uh, mistrack bonus, but he did get some good stuff. One, two, three. That was a bad start for LaDonna. Uh, let's see, where do we want to put this first? We'll put it on Healing Flood 2. Let's see here. Now, we, we are in possible danger here. One, two, three. No, well, maybe not. Um, Healing Flood is triggered. And we can do Lindworm's Blood right now. Or do I want to Soul Shatter? No, we'll do Lindworm's Lindward. Lindworm's Blood, one right there. Okay, and I could stop there. That's pretty good. We got healing. No, I want to get the Soul Shatter if I can. I do want to get the Soul Shatter. Hmm. Okay, let's do it. One, two, three. Okay, well, we got the third one. That's not bad, but look, we got it. Boom, that's all we need. I don't think we need to do any more. Okay. Now we're going to trigger our track here. She did get the good benefit, so she's going to get a, uh, a chronicle point. Uh, Mailing did not. Then we're going to trigger, tr uh, trigger skills, rather. So we're going to do there. Gain a chronicle point or two chronicle points, the hero gain a heart. We're not going to do that because we don't have enough. Then we're going to trigger this skill. Th any hero gains three points. That's going to be one, two, three for Mailing. That's great. And then we didn't trigger that skill. Okay, let's go to uh, mailing now. We're gonna trigger skills and things that are fast. So we got this skill, tracking, foretell, one enemy attack card, gain uh, one chronicle. So that's gonna put him at two. And our enemy attack card is gonna be a plus one with no symbol. I think we'll take that. I don't think that's so bad for us because we're gonna dodge two of those and we're gonna kill, we're gonna dodge two points from that card. So we got this dodge. We also have this focus, so we're gonna trigger that. That means that we are going to get a two things. One's good, one's bad, but it's okay. We're going to get, we're going to push this out, and we're going to gain this. Then we're going to push that out one more, and we're going to gain that. That's okay. As long as we don't do bad things, we're we're all right there. Okay.
Okay, now we're going to trigger our quick shot. It's a fast four. This is our quick shot too. So we automatically kill one of the forest trolls that are there. Didn't do anything to us. And then the forest trolls are going to attack back. So the first attack is going to go against mailing. We know that it's a plus one. Right, so we did that, and we're going to use our dodge. So we're only going to take one. We're at five. Now they're going to attack one more time because there's two of them there. So let's draw the next enemy card. It's this symbol here. Is that on their card? It is not. So minus one. So he takes, I'll just have him take one more. And that is the enemy attacks. So now we got soul shatter triggering for um, LaDonna. That is going to do four points. And for one chronicle, she can gain two. So we're going to do four points that will take out another force troll. So they are done. And she is going to use that power. This power, no wait, wrong one. Sorry, soul shatter. Show you that. Uh, she's going to, for one chronicle, she can gain two health. She's going to do that, and that will put her up to six, seven. So she's in good shape, and that's going to end the round. Okay, now we go on to our explore phase. We, we're not going to explore. Then we go on to our world phase, where we do put another one of these tokens on the wildland thing. It's pretty bad. Um, and it says, wait, when does it say to remove that? I have to remind myself of symbols. I think it's at the end of the adventure, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, the end of the adventure, that world card that's spawning these Garms will be removed, but we're probably going to have to fight two Garm there if we go into that space. And we will have to go there to get back to the tribe, which is unfortunate, but maybe we can get back to uh, the city of Strohan to try and get rid of that symbol so we stop spawning them. Uh, because it is specifically on the Wildlands that that's happening. All right, well, let's uh, move on. Now, um, Mailing still has four cards left, so he's going to have Dodge, Mighty Shot, Quick Shot, and Crippling Shot. So, no uh, quick, oh, he does have one more quick shot, so we can probably kill this thing before it does any damage, hopefully, to us. But let's uh, draw LaDonna's cards up, because it would not It would be pretty nice if she got another healing flood. And since she used all her cards, she's going to have to redraw. Let's see, we get Lindworm's Blood again. Soul Shatter 2. Silence. And, come on, Healing Flood 1. At least we got one of those up. Okay, and so we'll draw for mailing first. Let's see what he gets. Let's hope he gets. Oh, wait, I gotta still got tokens to put in his bag there. Okay, we're gonna draw for mailing first. All right. Good, good mix of these. Let's see, one, two, and three. Up, oh, that one went. This one came out first. So, all right. Well, we got. I'm gonna start trying to build that quick shot, and I will start building the dodge there. Okay. One, two, and come on, baby. Three. Okay, that's wonderful. We got our quick shot, so we're going to kill it. Um, and But let's see what else we can do here. We're going to put one on. No, not a crippling shot. We'll finish dodge. And then we'll, this one, unfortunately, we don't have a place for. Do I want to keep going? I got a dodge and a quick shot. I think we're going to stop there. There's no point in going on. We got it. Now, this is going to matter, so maybe we can get lucky here and get uh, that healing flood. One, two, three. Okay, we've got one going in there. We have, um, hmm. I'm gonna put this on Lindworm's blood because we can get that token there. I don't need to worry about soul shatter, or I could do silence. We'll do silence here, and we'll do the soul shatter there. That's not great, but that's what it is. Okay, let's see, one, two, three. Okay, we got one there. We will complete Soul Shadow. We don't need it. And we'll do Silence. Now we got that covered. That's going to gain us a Chronicle Point. And we'll keep going. Why, why not, right? I mean, one, two, three. Okay, so we did, in fact, accomplish that. We were we got this one on Lindworm's Blood, but we got two of those. So we'll... Um, sorry, wrong way. There we go. We'll stop there, and that'll end it. Okay, now let's, let's talk about our track. We both did gain a Chronicle. I'll cover that for both of them. Uh, also, Mailing gets an attack bonus, but that's not really going to matter that much. Okay, then we're going to do skills. Um, trigger skills. Boom, that's triggered. We're going to gain a Chronicle. That puts her at three. If the enemy ability is revealed, we're going to cancel it and gain another. And then Healing Flood, Mailing goes back up to six. Okay, got that. Now we'll go over to Mailing. Mailing's actually not going to take damage, so I'm not worried about it, because we're going to do Quick Shot. It's actually four points instead of three, as you can see, 
they have three, so we killed the final troll that's there. Uh, the forest troll is gone kaput. Um, end of the forest troll. All right, and that is going to mark the end of this. So we didn't draw the attack card, so the, the Lindwood's blood, or, or whatever, the silenced card didn't really trigger. So we didn't have to do that. And that's going to mark the end of the round. So at this moment, this also gives us three experience points. But, so before we move on to our explore phase, we're going to spend those. So we'll, I'm not going to put another one on this board. We're going to draw the top three cards and see what we can do. Oh, look at those dodge quick shot four. I got, we already got one of those. We're going to do a dodge right here. Three defense and two chronicles to activate this feat again. That is really powerful. So we'll put uh, these two back here. And let's get out a dodge one. There's a dodge one, and we're going to replace it with dodge two. Then we'll shuffle that up, and he'll have a new enhancement to his deck. That's pretty good for mailing. And then we're going to do the same thing for for um, Ladonna. Ladonna has some good cards already. She's, but let's see. We're going to one, two, three, and let's see what we get. Um, Hand of Death two. What does that do? Oh man, these are all good. Look at that. Gain one Chronicle. If the enemy's ability is revealed, cancel it and gain three Chronicles. That's really powerful. Hand of Death 4. If the target is left with two or less, defeat it. The Garms. We want this. We want that. So we're going to put that and put the other two back. Let's find our Hand of Death card. There it is. Hand of Death 1. We'll tuck that under. We'll take the Hand of Death 2 into hand and we'll shuffle it all up again. That was really good. Now she's well prepared to fight the Garm. We can, because they, they, they take five health, so they're kind of beefy. She can kill one of them with one shot. It's pretty good. Okay, and gain some points for it. So we've shuffled her feet deck up, and she is leveled. Good for her. And um, that's it. Okay. Now we are going on to our explore phase. And uh, with that, we are going to explore location D. It says interact for C206. Let's get the... Big Chronicles book out and do that. C206. We're all over the map on this. Here we are. Okay. 06 is right down here. All right, we got it. It says, you wander for a day in the forest without any success. You're almost ready to give up when your path takes you near an enormously tall tree. Its trunk as thick as 10 men lined side by side. It could be the gigantic tree that the wild folk warrior was talking about. Feathers litter the ground. Uh, around the tree's base, and your sharp eyes spot an enormous nest far up in the branches, large enough to host a large warrior, warrior full in full armor. Discard point of interest D. Uh, if there is a Vintner Weaver in the party, read entry there's not. Otherwise, any hero in the party may pass a perform a strength test. A ranger succeeds automatically. Guess what? Mailing is a ranger. He succeeds automatically, so we're going to go to the success. If at least one hero succeeds, go to entry C2046. So that's where we're going to go. C246. Here we go. C246. You reach the nest at the top of the tree. There is a lot of rubbish there, but also a marvelous golden egg. This must be what you're looking for. You grab it and start climbing down the tree. Suddenly, you see a pack of hapja in the sky, diving in your direction. Thieves! Thieves! They scream. You must escape as fast as possible. Each hero that climbed the tree, there's only one, must perform an agility three test. A Vintner Weaver can use their magic to succeed automatically. Uh, an agility three, that's going to be the the leaf. Hopefully we can, we can actually do that. We have like four in here, I think. Five, maybe. Okay, let's see if we get it. One, two, three. No, we don't have any in the first three. Oh my, we're, we never failed to succeed at these four. Look, not a single, we have, look how many of those we have. We got one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we're, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, that's it. We failed. Again, we never succeed. That's, that's the one mechanic I'm not digging in the game so far is that. It's just too easy to fail. You don't, I mean, it's just so random. Okay, each hero that fails, trying to dodge the attack, your hand slips and you fall to the ground. Lose three health. One, two two, three. So he said three, but he's, we succeeded, I imagine. Um, one way or the other, the hero, all the heroes reach the ground. Read, read entry C237. Okay, we're going to do that. C237, right here. Uh, you managed to steal the magical egg. You must return to Hilda in the Wildlands. Uh, point of interest C. We're going to gain quest token two. 
Let me get uh, quest token two. Uh, where is that? There it is. Quest token two. That goes on Mayling right there. Okay. And I think that's it. The party gains quest token two represents the magical leg. Okay, we are done in RG. We have succeeded at our mission there. That is wonderful. And now we're going to head back. So we go to the world phase. Uh, the problem with that is we are putting a third token again on the Trouble in the Wildlands. So that means we're going to have two more Garm. Now, luckily, I think there's a limit. Uh, the miniature limit matters. If I'm not mistaken, I don't know. But we're going to have a Garm in the dark wood and a Garm here. And I'm going to read that again just to be sure. But I'm pretty sure it says this. If there's a point of interest in the Wildlands, add one token to this card. If there's three tokens to this card, place one Garm. In the dark woods. Oh, and then and then discard the tokens. So we we do put another one each there, and then we discard the tokens. So we are going to have to fight them at some point. Maybe I don't know. We we're going to have to fight them when we go back to the village, I imagine. Okay. So uh, next turn, our travel. We're going to go to our travel phase. We go here to the city of Halderbad. There's nothing there, so we're going to draw an event card for us. Forgotten roads. Uh, you steps. Your steps are taking you down an old, unused path. Each hero in the party must perform an Agility 2 test. Okay. We'll try that. I don't think that LaDonna can, or can even do it, but we'll see. Well, two, she could. One, two, three, four, of course not. Five, six. Hey, we did! We actually succeeded. Boom. Okay, succeeded. Discard a bad token. So we'll discard... Well, we'll discard the one on the end. There we go. We discarded that one. Okay, he actually succeeded going down the old road. It says, you reach the end of the path without any issues. But it does say each hero. So we're going to have to do that again for LaDonna. Let's see what she gets. Now, she could do it too, but it would be harder. She's only got a two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, so close, but she failed. So she has to discard a positive token. Good news is she doesn't have one. So... That was the Forgotten Road that we encountered. No big deal. And then we go to our ex our um, explore phase. We're going to explore. That was our engage phase. Now we're going to explore. We can do that again here. Does she want to do that? Two Chronicle Points to get another... I mean, yeah, because that... She's going to go down to one Chronicle Point, but she's going to get another air token in her bag. Now, does Mei Ling want to do that? How many air tokens does he have? One, two, three. I guess so. Yeah, he's going to do a two. Uh, we'll go down to one there, and he will get an air token in his bag. It's better than better odds of us doing something than getting the uh, black ones, the misses. Okay, and that is the end of their face. Now we're going to go back to our travel. Well, we're going to wait. We got to put a token on the trouble in Wildlands card. Then we go back to our travel phase. We're going to travel to the Ice Peak Mountains, where uh, we are going to then engage by drawing an event card. Holy Stones of Gerbanus. Okay. You find a sacred place. Pray to the gods and make an offering. Each hero in the party must make a perform a charisma test. Well, good, that's the wind token. We just put a bunch in there. If we succeed, we get to dis discard some stuff. If we don't, we don't. We get bad things. Okay, so let's see. One, two, there's one. Three, four, five, six, and seven. He failed. So he is going to gain one of these into his bag. That's not good. I don't like that at all. Now our odds of of Lynn LaDonna getting a success here is pretty good. But she, she does have a, a, one, a one red token she could get rid of. One, two, three, four, five, come on, six. Uh, seven, no, she failed. So she's going to also gain another one of these black ones in her bag. Wow, she had the best chance of succeeding. She's got a number of those air tokens in her bag, and she still failed. Um, okay, well, that's that. I'm still not really clear on this ability, return the last runes drawn to the bag. I'm not clear on that. Do you draw them again? It's, it's just, I just don't get that. So maybe you can tell me. All right, and then we're going to, that was our uh, engage phase, our explore phase. There's nothing to do there. We're going to put one more token. Hopefully we don't get any farther with that. We're going to put one more token on the trouble in the wildlands. And then we're going to go back around to our travel phase where we go here. Um, and then we go to our engage phase where we're going to draw another event card. The gathering. You find a gathering of traveling performers and stop to enjoy a nice chat. Each hero discards 
Uh, oh, and loses a health. Oh my gosh, that puts Mailing down to two. Uh, we're going to discard a red token though, so that means we only have a good one for. Uh, well, we got we're getting rid of both the bad tokens we had, but we both took a health hit, so Ladonna's down to six and Mailing's down to two. All right, now we're going to go to our explore phase, and in our explore phase, we're going back to location C, uh, which is going to be. Uh, C-17, C-217, that, that's the, the camp. And I think it's we're going to get to use these tokens now that we have, right? C-217, yes, okay. It says, wait, uh, you follow the Durlag camp. No, that can't be right. Uh, C, C, it says C-217. Oh, that's C-1, sorry. Burp, burp, burp. Wrong spot. There we go, C-217. You reach the, cause it's the Black Deer camp. We've been there. It says, if the party has quest tokens one and two, we do have quest token two. Um, read entry C28. Okay, so C28 is where we're going next. C28. You use the remedy on Hilda's wounds and the warrior woman opens her eyes. Discard quest token one. If you have it, discard quest token two. We do. Discard See, so we will not see any more Garm come out there. That is wonderful. Um, and where was I? Oh, there we go. Uh, the party gains quest token four, which I will give to Mei Ling, um, and says, Who are you? She asks. Your father sent us, you say. Very well, I thank you for your aid, but we have no time to talk now, strangers. She gains her feet unsteadily at first, but with rapidly returning strength. A battle awaits me. Rothgar will die by my hand. Later that day, the champions of the two clans meet in single combat in the shallow ford near both camps. You are here to die, woman, the muscular champion of the Silver Trouts says, smiling wide. If you have quest token five, I don't, uh, read C35. If you have don't have it, so read C38. So we're going to read C38. Okay, C38. Hilda strikes Rothgar with all her strength, but her axe simply bounces off the enemy's skin. Laughing like a madman, Rothgar strikes back with incredible furiosity, ignoring all defense, and simply hacking away at her shield and body. The warrior woman falls to the enemy blows. Fortunately, her armor protects her, but now she is now unconscious. You must intervene before Rothgar attacks her again. Rothgar turns to you with a wicked smile. And you are next in line? With a savage howl, the... Apparently invulnerable champion attacks you. You must defend yourself. Read C208. Wow, we're being attacked by this guy. We didn't even want to be in the fight. Okay, well, so it is. So be it. You fight with all your skill, but your weapons inflict no wounds. Rothgar laughs evilly. Puny manling. F face the might of my queen. And then, under the astonished eyes of both clans, his skin stretches and splits as if he transformed into a, a weregarm. As the creature rushes in your direction, you swing your sword without hope and ready yourself to face your destiny. With great surprise, the blow actually breaks the skin of Roth and Rothgar screams in pain. The transformation must have made him vulnerable. Place one Garm in the region. So we're going to place one Garm with a, an elite symbol on it. So we're going to do that. It looks like we're going to have to fight this guy. Where's the Garm miniatures? Where are they? Where are they? Did I, get, I have them all out. Oh my gosh, there's only four. Okay, well, we're going to have to steal one. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to put one under here just to show that we have one there. Um, it's not it's not an elite. It means there's more than one there. And we'll put this here and this here. Okay, here we go. All right, what was that one? C. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, reveal point of interest I. Okay, so we're going to reveal point of interest I. Uh, Rothgar Weregarm, boss, Wildlands. He's got seven health, three damage, one defense. Uh, on his symbol, he gains. We're going to gain one bad token or lose two chronicles. Defeat and interact with C23. Okay. Well, that was our explore phase, so we don't have to worry about the trouble in the Wilderlands card any longer because we no longer have a token there right now. But we are going to have to battle the Garm or the the. Wear Garm, boss, and here he comes. So I'm going to put the, this up for just a moment, and let's see if we can defeat this guy. He's pretty tough. Uh, he has got, I'll put uh, this out in the middle so we can we have that available to us. He's got some stuff. 
Anyway, but we've got some enhanced stuff, so let's uh, get our, our cards out and do our thing. We've already shuffled this up, so we're going to get Focus 1, Dodge 2, that's fantastic, Tracking 1, and Dodge 1. So he's just basically going to be trying to keep us out of trouble. And then um, LaDonna, we've got, ooh, Hand of Death 2, that's awesome. We can do a lot of damage to him. We get uh, Healing Flood 1, we're probably going to need that because mailing is hurting. Soul Shatter 1. And Trolls Strength 1. We can kill him. We can kill him in one shot if we're lucky. Okay, let's start with, uh, we'll start with Mei Ling here. You can see his, his uh, Mei Ling, rather. You can see his uh, stuff there. Let's see if we can get some good things out of this bag for us. Hopefully that uh, double dodge, the big dodge. Okay. We've got one here, but we do get, I'm going to immediately fill this dodge card up. Uh, that is dodge two. Okay, let's see. Maybe we can get the, the extra damage and we can kill him. Uh, well, sh he won't be able to do it. But anyway, we're going to get one, two, and three. That's bad, I think. Do, do I want to keep going? We're Basically, at this point, we're, we're at risk. Um, I think we'll keep going. Let's see. Let's just keep going. One, two, three. Is that good or bad? Okay, it's not, not bad. It's not bad. So we can... Um, Let's see, we can get, we got one win token, so we put it there, that's all we got. So we can't do this, we can do that, and this goes here, which means we're not going to get the bonuses. So I think we'll stop there, there's no point in going further. He dodged, he dodged a bunch, look at it, he's not going to take any damage from the big bad guy. Um, and as, to the best of my knowledge, he's only going to draw one card out on us, he's one enemy. I'm going to look up the elites and just double check that in the rules, but... I believe that is the case. By the way, it was a little hard to see the symbols there, but his health is actually 14, and his attack is a 6. <laughs> so, he only hits once, but that's bad. Alright, so let's uh, let's get on now with drawing um, LaDonna's stuff. So right now, um, Mailing can avoid the damage, unless something crazy happens. We'll see what we get with her, though. 1, 2, 3. Okay, that's not bad. Look, we got part of the Soul Shatter right there. And part of the Healing Flood 2. Let's keep going. Okay. One, two, three. Uh, hand of Death or Soul Shatter. I can get the Hand of Death completely up here. Look, one, two. And then I can get Soul Shatter. We can attack the snot out of this guy. Or do I want to put this here? Start to build it because I could do the, I could add to the damage there. No, we'll go, we'll go one more round. We'll go one more round. I'm okay. I'm okay. I feel good. Okay, one, two, three. Uh, not so good. That's This has got to be where it ends. Uh, which means we are not going to get that. God, I could go again. We don't... There's three out of five out of six or whatever, those black tokens. But I also have ones that I wouldn't be able to get out on the board. Or do I? I don't know. I don't know. Let's just go again. God, they're so hard to get out of here. Oh, okay. One, two, okay, and three. Oh, did we do it? One, no, hold on. I mean, we're not going to get the bonus. That's okay. That's okay. One, no. Yeah, one, two, doesn't really matter. Three, okay, so she's done, but she triggered everything. Okay, we also have our item. I've got to remember if for one chronicle, I can do this and I, I will. Okay, so let's uh, go back to, let's start activating. Now we're going to do this first, our track. Neither of them got the bonus or the negative part of the mistrack. So, skills. Uh, we got Healing Flood 2, Hero gains 2 points. That's going to go put uh, Mailing up to floor, 4. Uh, and then skill, trolls shatter, uh, Troll Strength, 1 attack from any hero deals plus 2, or from 1 Chronicle deals plus 3. So, we can do 4... Five six right now. That's pretty good. We don't have the ability to do much else though. Uh, we are if we're not going to defeat him, so we'll see how this goes. We'll see. Okay, let's go over to. Um, actually, Mei Ling doesn't have. It just has dodges. He just has dodge, but he has his ring. He doesn't have enough chronicle points right now. Bummer. Okay. All right. Well, I think I'm going to use reserve the chronicle points to to do more damage, perhaps with the Tower Sword Lord Sword for uh, Ladonna. Let's see. Let's see how this plays out. So we got have no quick shots. Um, we already did the healing flood one. So.
Next up, we draw an enemy card. What do we get? We get uh, plus one, so that means six, seven damage. Six, that's seven damage. So, obviously, Mailing's taken the first hit. That's going to be three, four, five. So I can take two. Um, I do not have enough Chronicle points to activate this. So I'm going to take two. Down to two. Not the worst thing that could happen, right? That wasn't so bad. Okay. Um, we're hurting, though. We got it. Mean, well, good thing is that LaDonna will get her big healing flood next turn. Uh, it's too bad we couldn't take advantage of this double dodge with the ability to activate it again. Um, or activate, draw and activate a feat for free would have been nice, but we don't have that either. Okay, so we're going to go to mailing now. She is going to do her damage. So I think we're going to start with Soul Shatter 1, and we'll add Troll Strength to that. That will put four points of damage on him. One, oh wait, those are five. One, two, three, four. That's a pretty good hit. Um, no, that's actually going to be five points. Let's do a flat five. Five points. It's three for the Soul Shatter and two for the uh, Troll Strength without using a Chronicle point. So it's five. Then we will do uh, the Hand of Death, which is another four. One, two, three, four. Nowhere, uh, nowhere near 14 points yet, that's for sure. Uh, it says... If it's within two or less, we defeat it and gain a Chronicle Point, but we don't because we didn't defeat it. And that is the damage. Now, I could spend a Chronicle Point to do this, and I, that would be two more damage, or I can hold on to that. I think we're going to go hold on to it to defend one if we need it. I think that makes more sense. Okay, so that's the end of this round. We'll end it, and we're going to go again. So we got Quick Shot. Quick Shot 2, Crippling Shot, and Mighty Shot. No dodges. We're going to go down. No, no question, because our dodges were both in the last one. And for Mailing, we're going, or for Ladonna, we're going to have Silence. That's helpful. That could be really good. Um, healing Flood 2. That is very, very good. That's th any one hero. Three points. Sh Soul Shatter. And Lindworm's, Lindworm's Blood. Okay, so those are the cards we got. Now, we can do quite a bit of damage before he does if we get lucky enough to trigger both the quick shots. Um, and if and we're, we're not going to stand up to this attack, but we could get the mighty shot too and add a fast activation. Oh, it loses its fast activation, but we could do that with the three and get six points. Six points of damage in one shot. Uh, let's see. One, two, three. Okay, uh, I could put that one back. That goes there. I need to get the quick shots. So we'll put that here. We'll put that there. Or do I want to put it on Mighty Blow? Let's put it on Mighty Blow. Okay. Digging in the bag. <laughs> I'll tell you that the bag is... I, I don't know. I, I like it. I like it. Okay, we got our quick shot. This doesn't... Oh, man, look at that. That's bad right there. That's not helpful to us at all. But I think we got to keep going. Maybe we get lucky and we don't draw... I'm going to really shuffle this bag up. Um, come on, come on, come on, come on. I can't, is there to get stuck in the corners of the bag? It's kind of annoying. Okay. One, two, oh, there's the problem. Oh, there's a big problem. Wow, so we're done. So we got two quick shots. We're going to take damage. We're going to take two points of damage. And we're not going to get that damage bonus. So now we're going to draw for uh, LaDonna. We didn't get, we only got one of the quick shots. That's a real shame. What a bad draw we had there. Now, LaDonna's going to have to save the day, I think. So we're going to get one, two, three. Has, what is that going to do for us? We can immediately trigger, I'm going to put that there. We can do silence. Yeah, let's do the silence immediately. So we got silence going right now. That's good. And we're going to get, oh wait, hold on, y'all. I didn't clean up completely from the last time. I got to redo that draw. I left uh, tokens on our board. Let's do that again. And there were the bad ones, so that's not that's cheating for sure. Let's see. We got one, two, three. Okay. Healing. We do not have healing flood. We do have Lindworm's blood though. Gain a chronicle. We'll do that. 
No, we don't. We can, yeah, we can do that and that. And then I'll put this one on Soul Shatter. We need to do damage. Okay, let's see if we get some. We didn't get the Healing Flood yet. Uh, one, two. Ugh, oh, wait, that's not so bad. Okay, one here, one here. Come on, we now got to get this. We got to get, we got to keep going. We're doing okay so far, right? One, two, three. Is this good? Yes, there, we got that. We got that. We cannot draw. Now we're going to have to put that in there. So, man, I need, um, we're going to draw three more and hope, hopefully we get super lucky. We know we're going to draw, I don't know. If I draw three more, I'm going to be putting, so we don't have any slots left. Well, we could go into neutral, maybe, and just not get the Chronicle Point. That's not so bad, right? Okay, one, two, three. Ugh. We got one. This one's going to do that. Either way, it doesn't matter. We just don't get the big, the good side, the upside. Okay, we're done. Okay, now we're going to trigger our board. Nothing happens here, but Mei Ling. Oh, no, 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 no. He's down, down already. So none of his stuff is going to happen. I believe. I'm going to take a look at that. I think, man, this is going to be a hard fight. I'll tell you that right now. Um, I think, yeah, he's down. I'm going to look at the feet again. But I believe he is down. I didn't realize that. I thought, oh, he'd have one more left, but he won't. Oh, my. That was rough. Let's see what the... F I wish the, uh, the book is laid out okay. It's just not, it's not that bad. A hero is defeated whenever their health is completely depleted. A defeated hero no longer participates in the current round. So all of this is irrelevant now. Boom, gone. And we're going to get one of those weird things. So he goes down before he even gets to do anything. So now we're going to go to skills. La La um, Ladonna is going to use her healing flood on herself to put her up to maximum because she's going to take a massive hit. Uh, she has silence on him, so he his abilities won't trigger... And she gains a Chronicle, that puts her at 2. Um, and then Lindworm's Blood, she can gain um, a Chronicle Point or spend 2 to gain a, a positive health token. She will gain another Chronicle Point. Okay, that's that. Now we're going to, unfortunately, th none of this happens. That's really a shame. Um, man, Mei Ling, he's been, that's been rough for him, hasn't it? Hasn't been good. If I was a, another player, I would not be happy. <laughs> so he's going to come back up to six. We're going to reshuffle all his stuff. On the next round, oh, and this token will go. Um, and he'll come back, but he won't come back in good shape. Wait, can I? I could have, oh, you know what? Is that how you use this? Could I have stopped this and exhausted and returned the last runes to the bag? Hmm. I'm going to think about that, because that could have maybe prevented this from happening. Anyway, he's got no health. He's got a lot of Chronicle points. No, wait, I mean, did that backwards. He only had one, six there. He's going to come back with six next turn, but right now he's out. All right, now we're going to do the attack from the boss. Let's see what we get here. A miss! Oh, reshuffle the deck. Okay, man, that could have not come at a better time. So, missed, uh, missed um, uh, LaDonna, and LaDonna's going to strike back with Soul Shatter, which is going to do four points. That's it, but that's okay. I'll take it, so we'll go one, two, three, we'll leave uh, three, and we'll put five on there. There we go. Okay. That doesn't look right. How many do I have? I had five, I had four, I had, okay, this is what I had. I just did how many? Four. Okay. So four, yeah, we take away one, put a five. There we go. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Boom, boom. Done. Damaged. Um, and I'm still shuffling the attack cards. All right. And that marks the end of this round. <laughs> that was interesting. We need to do better right now. At least we got some Chronicle Points. We can do some things. We got him kind of close. Uh, and that miss, that miss could not have come at a better time. So we're going to uh, go to the next round. Um, no more cards up for Mailing. So on the Explore phase, uh, Mailing gets back up again. But we have to put one of these cards, these wind, uh, weird cards, into his deck. Now, if we get to the end of adventure and he still has this, bad things are going to happen. So we're going to put that in his deck and we're going to shuffle it all up. Hopefully he draws it so we can get rid of it, but maybe not in this particular fight. Wow, this is a rough fight, isn't it? Probably one of the roughest ones we've had so far. We haven't triggered any of his abilities. That's pretty cool. Um, 
man, I, I, this guy's rough. But we're, we're at 14 of 17, so we can kill him. Or 13 of 17. We can certainly kill him. Is it 16? Uh, no. He's got one point left, actually. That's 14. Wait a second. Did I kill him? Hold on. Let me, let me tell, you, tell you why I might have killed him in that round. Uh, we had... It was the three, no, we did four points. We had Soul Shatter 2. I don't think it matters that much. Or, did we have Soul Shatter 2? I think so. Yeah, it's right here. I just, yeah. Ga uh, one Chronicle gains two health. Oh, that, yeah, sorry. It's the Hand of Death one. So, never mind. We did not kill him. I was hoping that um, we would have been able to do that, but we can't. So, he's got one point left. We can get him this turn, right? We can get him. Okay, so we're going to draw. Now, we go to our, our travel phase. We're not traveling. Then we go to um, our engage phase. We're going to draw four cards. This is uh, wait, wrong deck. Sorry, sorry. This is um, Madonna's four cards. Two, three, and four. Let's see what she gets. Uh, Soul Shatter, Hand of Death, Troll Strength, and Lindward Blood. So we'll be able to kill him this turn, I believe. Hopefully we get to dodge the heck out of things with Mailing. Okay, I, I did shuffle this, but I'm going to give another quick shuffle just to make sure it's mixed up. We get, Of course, the weird card comes out first. Crippling shot, come on, man, come on. Mighty shot and quick shot. Well, we can get him with the quick shot. We just got to get it, that's all. So I'm going for to try and get that quick shot out right away, and if that happens, then we're just going to end it right there. Though, is there anything that would... I'm going to go through the whole round because there's some positive things we could get from it. So let's mix these up. One, two, three, look at that. That's not a bad start. So I'm going to do that. I don't care about these, so I'm going to put one here just to see if we can pull it off. Okay. Let's, okay, let's see. I need a... Oh, man, are you kidding me? That, wait, that uh, should be in there. <laughs> Sorry. No, that was right. That was right. Hold on. I did it again where I didn't, I didn't see the two tokens that were right there. So we're going to redo that. Okay. This, okay, we got this here. We got this one here. That is actually bad. And then we'll do the quick shot there. Come on, let's get some good stuff here. Huh, huh, huh. Please, please, please. What do we get? Oh, we did not get that yet. We'll do here, here, and here. We got the weird card gone already. We're going to gain a chronicle point for that. That's good. Now, let's see if we can... Come on, come on, come on. Got to really dig in there and get those. There's two. Oh, that's good. We got what we needed. And a third one. Okay. Actually, th this isn't great because this will go here. We don't have a place for this, but we do get the quick shot. She's, he's going to stop there. So he's not going to get good stuff, the Chronicle Point, but he's going to kill the guy. So that's that's enough. Now we're going to go to um, the Donna over here. Let's just turn the camera a little bit right there. Let's see if she can trigger some good stuff here. Really, I mean, she, there's some ability for her to gain some Chronicle points, but that's about it. So one, two, three. I um, guess she'll put one here. One here on the Hand of Death. Why not? And Troll Strength. Why not? Okay. Because that could add to... It, I mean, it doesn't matter. We're going to kill it now. We got it. Let's just hope we get the... Okay, we got... That, that's good. Got one here. Soul Shatter. Now, this is the only thing I cared about, really, because that's going to give us the ability to get a thing on it. So she's going to stop there. Might as well just stop. So we're going to get a Chronicle Point, putting her up to four on her Mist Board. He gets nothing from his, his Mist Board. Okay, then sh her skills trigger. The skill that she got off was Lindward, Lind Lindworm's Blood. She gets another Chronicle Point. She can spend two to give any hero a... Heart token, one two. She is going to do that and give it to. Um, where is it? Where's the heart? Heart, please. In there somewhere, right? Where are they? That's oh, there they are. Okay, got one. Uh, a heart token right here. That's good. That was a, a good thing to trigger. That's a skill. Now, the fat this gets triggered, so we're going to gain one two three. If you defeat an enemy this combat, remove this card from the game. We are going to defeat the enemy this combat. Boom! Right here. Fast three. Three points. He is gone. 
All right, and that is going to mark the end of that combat. We did kill uh, the um, big bad guy. I've, I'm hoping that we finally get a companion. That would be super cool. He's at six. Okay. And uh, that is his bag all cleaned up and ready to go, except for wait, this one here. I don't know where that went. Okay, and then we got her bag. We're going to clean that up. Okay. And her cards are all done. That was a pretty interesting fight. Let's see what happens now. Well, it says we're going to go read C223. So let's get that out in the book. C223 and enjoy that read on that one. All right, C223 is going to be over here. Uh, your final blow slays the beast man. His astonishment fades into death. While the silver trouts flee, ashamed and confused, your allies, the black deers, cheer your success. You are the champion of the wild folk, they say. A hero in the party gains, a, gains title CS021. A title. We haven't had a title yet, but that's cool. We'll take it. CS021. There is our title. Champions of the wild folk. Having broken the enchantment made by made Rothgar invincible, you were able to defeat the champion of the silver trouts. The black deer cheer your success. We're going to gain a, that. So we're going to keep... I think that's going to mailing at this point. Um... You uh, safely travel back to the Darkwood with Gorma. Place all heroes in the Eastern Darkwood. Well, that's interesting, because we're going to have to do a fight there with two Garms next turn. Um, so, with that, we will end for the night uh, with our Explore phase, and then our, we go to our World phase. It's over. We are going to appear here in our Travel phase, which is fine. We could have traveled there anyway, but we are going to have to fight the Gorm, I believe, I'm just going to double check that. Place all heroes in the Eastern Darkwood. Yeah. To speak with Gorma. Okay, well, we did succeed in, in saving his children. So, uh, does this, we, have, we have that the cool title now, which I'm giving to Mailing, And that is going to mark the end of it. So we're going to get to our world phase, and we're done. And then next turn, or next session, we're probably going to get close to completing this adventure. I hope we do. It's been pretty cool. But we're going to have to fight two, not one, but two of these guys. They're rough. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And I'll see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.